using convolution theorem obtain the inverse laplace transform of the function s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 whole square okay now solution using convolution theorem find the inverse laplace transform now first to take f bar of s f bar of s is s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 and one more is a g bar of s g bar of s is a s plus 2 is over taken now take 1 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 now f of t is equal to or required f of t and g of t now inverse of s plus 2 divided by s square plus 4s plus 5 okay now using shifting property we take 2 outside so before we arrange it this part is s plus 2 divided by s square plus 4s plus 5 means s square plus 2 ab ab means b means 2 s plus 2 whole square plus 1 right like this denominator part this is inverse of s square plus 4s plus 4 and this one is a 5 you get same result okay now take s plus 2 s plus 2 using shifting property take 2 outside means this is plus is there e raised to minus 2t now inverse of remaining s upon and this s square plus 1 and f of t is equal to e raised to minus 2t inverse of s upon s square plus 1 is a cos t this is only f of t next is find g of t inverse of 1 upon again a denominator part you write like this okay s plus 2 whole square plus 1 and this is equal to 2 take outside e raised to minus 2 plus become minus and inverse of 1 upon s square plus 1 this is equal to e raised to minus 2t this is g of t is e raised to minus 2t into this inverse of standard function is sin t only now applying now theorem is a convolution theorem applying convolution theorem convolution theorem is inverse of f bar of s into g bar of s is equal to integration of u is equal to 0 to t f of u and g of t minus u with respect to u okay now inverse of f bar of s and g bar of s is given s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 whole square and this is equal to integration of u is equal to 0 to t and f of u f of u means f of t t is equal to u e is to minus 2u and cos u into g of t minus u t become t minus u means e is to minus 2 of t minus u into sin of t minus u with respect to u ok now e raised to minus 2u, e raised to minus minus plus 2u, e raised to 2u plus e raised to 2u, e raised to minus 2u, e raised to plus 2u get cancelled. Only remaining e raised to minus 2t. This integration with respect to u, this is constant, take outside. e raised to minus 2t is outside. Integration now, u is equal to 0 to t. Now I will write first e sine of t minus u and into cos u with respect to u so using this standard formula standard formula is sin a into cos b this formula using so we interchange it first write, first write this one and after this one half into cos of sorry sin a into b is a uh, sin a into cos b is a sin of a plus b sorry sin of a plus b plus sine of a minus b this is correct 
this formula okay now and this is equal to e raised to minus 2t and 1 by 2 this sign a into cos b formula 1 by 2 outside the integral integration of u is equal to 0 to t now sine of a plus b sine of a plus b means plus u plus sine of a minus b minus b means u minus u again with respect to u and this is equal to e raised to minus 2t divided by 2 integration of u is equal to 0 to t and uh, sine minus u plus you get cancel only sine t is remaining plus and sine of t minus 2 u minus u minus u with respect to u okay now and this is equal to e raised to minus 2 t by 2 now with respect to u sine t is a constant and uh, 1 is there so integration of 1 is u with the limit is 0 to t plus okay integration of sine is minus cos of 2u divided by again constant minus 2u again minus 2 minus minus plus only 2 is remaining okay now it limits u 0 to t this is equal to e raised to minus 2t by 2 okay then sine of u is equal to t minus u is equal to 0 t minus 0 plus so 1 by 2 take u is equal to t cos t minus 2t cos of minus t means means is a cos t only okay cos t only minus lower limit u is equal to 0 this 0 only cos t and this one this one is cancel and the inverse of is s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 5 whole square and this is equal to e raised to minus 2t divided by 2 into t into sorry this is uh, t as it is this is t as it is t into sin t now this is a required solution